What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to print out multiple cookie cutters at once. So where, where are my Etsy page right now? And you can see I have three cookie cutters that I need to print out, three different ones. So I could just open up uh, Cura, that's what I use, and just print one at a time, which, uh, you know, that, that could be time consuming. I'd have to keep coming back to the printer every couple of hours, or I could put all three of these on one print, and that's what we're gonna. That, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna minimize this, and here are the three objects that I need. Right. So if we right click, go to properties, you can see right here. Um, let's see. You know, right here in general, they are in an object format. All three of them. Uh, that's after I've exported them from Fusion 360. So let's open up the first one. And once it opens up, here's the cookie cutter on the uh, platform, on the heat bed. And, you know, just have your settings, whatever you want them for. Uh, but don't hit slice yet. So what you can do is if you click on it, you have these arrows, right? And you can actually move this around. So what we're going to do is, well, first off, we're going to go over here, and this depends on which perspective we have it, whether it be straight on, bird's eye, or to the left or right. We're going to have straight on, all right? Now, well, not straight on, bird's eye. And we're just going to move this over here for now. And what we're going to do is if you go up to File, and then if you go to Open Files, you click on that, so here are the three that I have. Currently we have the slim can. We need to put in the can and then the Dallas stars. So I'm gonna click on the can and open that up. And then there's the can. Now we have two in the project, okay? And we're gonna go back to file and open files. And we're gonna to wanna to click on Dallas stars and click open. And see how it's out here now. So it's very simple, you just grab it and you bring it into where you want it. Now, I have all three of them, and you can see, obviously this isn't gonna work. It's overlapping, it's gonna print the cookie cutters together, and it, I'm gonna waste PLA. So what you do at this point, and the reason why I have it uh, bird's eye view, is you just move them around until you can figure out where to configure them on the bed to have enough room. So right here is pretty good. If I just have them like this, that's more than enough space for all three of them to print. I'm not going to have a problem here. Nothing's going to overlap in any way, shape, or form. Um, I have the little clips on the actual heat bed here, here, and here. So they're far enough away from that. And when you get that first test line that goes along here, I make sure it's far enough away from the left side as well. Um, and I won't have a problem if it's just these three right here. They'll print out nice and easily all at the same time. And then you can hit slice. But before you even do that, what I would recommend you do is, let's see, if you go to build plate adhesive, you want to switch this to none. So you might have a skirt on here or you might have a brim. And you see that if I pick skirt, these are now bordered out like that means it's not going to work. They're going to the skirt is going to interfere with itself and it's going to hit into it. So just get rid of it. There's no reason to put the skirt down in my opinion or anything else. Just have none and then it should work as long as they're not overlapping, right? You don't want it like this. So I know that this is far enough away from each. You don't want it too close to the edge, right? And if you're trying to print out a lot, like maybe four or five cookie cutters, or maybe you're not printing cookie cutters, maybe you're printing something else, can only handle so much. So you still want enough space. For this, three is good. If I wanted to try to squeeze in a fourth, I probably can. If I move all of those like that, and if the fourth thing I was printing maybe could fit over here, that could work. But sometimes it's just not going to work out, and you could only print so many. So the three workout, this is pretty good for me. They're far enough away. If I hit slice down here, 
it will process and then there you go I got about five hours to print all three of these but it's great because I could just set this alone uh, during my work day and not have to worry about it and know that this will take five hours and I'll have all three of them printed of course before I save it I like to hit preview and I like to examine them just make sure everything looks good move it around look at all of them and it looks like all of these are gonna be good for printing I don't see any problems so once I get that situated then you can just go to file you go to export save it whatever you want to save it as right as a G code so I'll do three prints that's what I'd save it as save it to my desktop hit save and then that's it there it is. There's all three prints all on one heap at all three cookie cutters on one print. That's all it is. It's a very easy process and it can be very time saving because uh, you don't have to keep going back to your uh, 3D printer and uploading something new. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to come out with more and more videos and not just on the computer end. We're gonna, I'm going to actually go over the printer I use, the type of PLA we use. Uh, we're even going to talk about how to make these uh, royal icing cookies. So we're going to really expand on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to that. Hit that like button. Leave comments if you have any. And you guys have a great day.